Um, no, my crew had a meltdown. And they'd, they'd recycled our pegs. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure living off grid and traveling the UK Canal Network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. The log just didn't want to catch. That's when I remembered that I prefer the top-down method of building fire, when kindling goes on top of the log. Later on I will find out that the whole batch of these logs was slightly damp, and I had trouble lighting them for a whole week. There is a silver lining however. This inspired us to look into alternative types of fuel, and we stumbled upon heat logs. They're made from recycled materials, so no trees were chopped in production, and we've been buying those instead. should really change our code from 111. We feel very lucky this lockdown, as we have access to Miles' car. This could only mean one thing. Boat improvements. Well, they've not met Stan, have they? No, not yet. We just saw a sign for a farm shop, so gonna go check it out. The queue for the shop is huge. We have way too many things to do to be waiting here. It's not meant to be. Okay. We're just outside Devices Marina and we had a great um, experience there. We had a look at their slipway where they take boats out of the water and apparently it's the um, safest way of getting boat out of the water. It doesn't yeah, on, involve a crane. It's on tracks. It's like, um, like a little rail car, isn't it? It goes under yeah. the water, takes the boat up. So yeah, getting it blacked in March. And also they've got a welder here, which Alba needs. So, Should um, we get a hatch? And a round window. A round window? You want a porthole? A hole? huge round window, like a big one. Instead of a Underwater, hatch? Underwater, like an aquarium. Yeah, it would be great when we hit the boat going into locks and so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the plan for end of March. White paint, bath, 12 volt lights, wire. So the list is long. Metal tubes, bathroom vinyl, glue. Do you want a lemon tree? I do. Get it. Randomly, we spotted a store that sold wood burners. We've never been in one. Our boat already had the stove in it when we bought her. Excited, we went straight in. They sold the same brand of stoves and eco fans. 
exactly what we need. If you want to go to coal, then you have to use the bottom one. Okay. So you can, if you're, you can close the top one up almost fully, mm -hmm. as long as you leave a little bit of air coming down to keep the glass clean. But then for coal burning, use the bottom one. Okay. okay. In the shop, we were introduced to the entirely different type of stove, a pellet stove. Too bad it works on 240 volts, but amazingly, it is almost entirely automatic and works on burning a recycled product too, wood pellets. Not for off-grid boats, but still exciting nevertheless. Wow, this is the most amazing morning we've had in a while. It's icy everywhere and it looks like snow. It's amazing, it's incredible. I'm so happy. And the sun is just coming out. I can see a little bit of a sunrise. It's just a tiny bit coming out. Look. I'm a little bit worried for our engine though because we haven't got enough um, antifreeze. We've been mixing antifreeze with water as you're supposed to do for, for the cooling tank but we ran out about a week ago so we've been just using water and it's been really warm so um, we did order it um, but it didn't arrive in time it just says um, delivery delayed. The whole cooling system is not just the cooling tank, there are many, many litres and we have been putting a lot of concentrate in it um, in the last two months, so there is some. Parsley needs harvesting as well. It's all um, frozen now. Welcome to a bit of a disastrous Sunday morning. I wake up at 6 a.m. and realize that all of the coal got burnt out, so I had to start a fire, and that is the third fire I'm starting in 24 hours, so I've not been very successful. The log I used was quite big and it must have been a bit wet because it took me three times of making pretty nice fire for it to actually lit up. It just didn't, the fire didn't want to catch on the log at all. Then I realized that we're in out of water so I can't have a shower. Miles is up now and I'm telling the dinghy we're going to leave it here. We're going to go for a cruise to get water so we can have a shower. All I wanted to do is wake up and start editing the episode. I've got so many great ideas. I sat down for five minutes and instantly got distracted because nothing was working. So yeah, one of them days. We're going to leave the pegs here because the water point is literally 200 meters away. So yeah, we're just taking off the ropes. Just a look at this view. How are you doing this morning? Fine. You just woke up? Yeah. You didn't witness any drama? Um, no, my crew had a meltdown. It did. They had a big, it looked like this this morning. <laughs> I did. I'm so grumpy, I still oh, am. I can't get anything in my life right. The fire am. keeps going out. Yeah, that's a failure face. It's all good. Zoe's coming for a short cruise with us as well. You ready for your cruise? Uh, yeah, I've got the two bucks. you got all your shit with you, yeah? <laughs> Turn around. Every now and then we need to go to the water point because we can't make any more tea. And then we need to turn around. Every now and then we get facing the wrong way and then we can't come back. Turn around. 
turn around. <laughs> we I decided that we're going to try um, rear basin all the way back. Um, so yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. Reversing could have been avoided, but I decided to practice maneuvering back and made a personal challenge of it. There is no steering in reverse, so in order to have control, I kept switching from reverse to forward in order to keep Alba straight. So I've just reversed backwards to our spot, which took about 15 minutes. There was a bend in the canal and even with that I did pretty good. There was a fisherman on the way who was very upset with us um, going backwards because obviously we made a bit more noise. I feel like the, our water should last until the end of lockdown or so, um, so we don't want to turn around. It only took 15 minutes um, to reverse, so that was pretty good and it was a really good practice to kind of get a feel for reversing. Um, so we went to go get water today um, and it's literally like 200 meters that way. So we thought, oh, we'll we're coming back, so we'll leave the pegs in. So when we come back, we don't have to bash them in or try and get them out. So yeah, went and got water, came all the way back and we went past this boat and it was like, were you moored up there? Did you leave your pegs in? We're like, yeah. It was like, oh, I thought someone had left them. They'd, they'd recycled our pegs uh, within like an hour, hour and a half that they were there. Someone picked them up, but they kindly returned them as well and helped us more up, so funny. So we've got pegs. That would have been so awful if we didn't. We're going to put in some tiles behind, like as a splash pack in our kitchen. So what we're going to do, because the walls aren't flat, we're going to measure up how much of this board we're going to need. We're going to stick the tiles onto the board. Now on a narrow boat, you bash into things like locks and stuff like that. So rather than what normal tile adhesive, we're going to use this permanent glue stuff. And then we're going to grout in between it all. We're going to screw it to the wall, so we're going to have a little bit of wood showing at either end. So we're going to, just going to paint all the edges white and at the top. What happened? Take two. And so. <laughs> I've got my painting outfit on. I'm gonna start painting. What I'm gonna do now is lightly sand the wall, the green bits, and Finally, paint it white. Hey, what are you doing? I'm filming the doing things. Not with this one, you're not. <laughs> the 
The engine also needed some TLC. And if you look here, this where this is scraping here, mm -hmm. there's some corrosion there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's important that the corrosion comes off. That's all the white flaky powdery stuff. Yeah. While being on Kennet and Avon Canal, we've been recommended to work with Dave, a marine engineer who solved all our boat problems. White spray on here. You should stop the corrosion. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. And you can see it's on the screws as well, mm -hmm. so... Okay, now these ones you keep somewhere safe because these are going to be the next one that go on the engine. It's, um, it's not good. It's been quite heated up and burnt, it's been squealing. Yeah, this needs to go. Our batteries haven't been holding much charge at all, so we asked Dave to run a diagnostic. The weather's great. We had plans of going for a walk and we decided that we we're going to stick to it anyway, even if it's pouring it down. Mm hmm. It's quite nice in the rain, though. No? Yeah. We've got our wellies, a picnic, and hot water <laughs> with us. In case we get lost. <laughs> What's for picnic? Got some salad, got some slithery stuff, bean turds that you like. Bean curd. Bean turd, sun dried tomatoes, artichokes, loads of nans. We love nans. And hummus, falafels, avocado, just something in case the apocalypse hits while we're out. The weather indeed was apocalyptic, yet it didn't stop our plans. The reason we are going for a walk is because tomorrow is my birthday. As I can't go anywhere, I decided to have a quiet day in and focus on self-care. The weather forecast looks awful for both days, so we decided to crack on with the walk today. So we're going to go to Aylesbury. Yeah. Aylesbury Stone Circle. And we are going to have a picnic there outside and maybe in the car. And we're going to do a ceremony, a birthday ceremony with um, ceremonial cacao. Pate on toast. Pate on an end. Yeah. Averbury Stone Circle is the largest stone circle in the world and the only stone circle with a village built into it. It's estimated to be almost 5,000 years old. During the early Middle Ages, a village first began to be built around the monument, eventually extending into it. In those times, local people destroyed many of the standing stones around the hedge both for religious and practical reasons. It's hard to imagine it now, but at the time of construction, Averbury and the surrounding hills were covered in dense oak woodland. Gradually, the woodland around Averbury and the nearby monuments receded and was replaced by grassland. There are many mysteries that surround Averbury. For example, Silbury Hill that was described to us as Blamonge Mountain when we asked for directions. It's believed to be man-made, but there are many other theories out there. We enjoyed diving deep into documentaries after the walk. 
In fact, we came back again another time and filmed the area for you when the conditions were much better. Should we waft it around and make some good intention? So this is our favourite bit. Well, it's my favourite bit anyway. Yeah, it's really lovely. It's nice to go inside something that my ancestors built. The purpose of this megalithic site remains elusive. Many archaeologists believe that these are special grounds where Neolithic people would have been performing rituals in order to pacify the powers of nature. Walking around an ancient stone circle that is older than pyramids with no one else here is an absolute gift. The landscape of naked fields nearby is like a perfect canvas helping the stones stand out and the weather has just added to the drama. It felt very special. Well guys, thank you so much for my birthday walk. It's been great. I enjoyed the drama of the wind and especially the peak when we're standing at the tombs, on the top of the tombs, just facing the wind and it was very, very strong wind. but. He said, take your hat off, and the, the hair was just all over the place, it was fun. Uh, and there weren't that many people around, so it felt like we had the whole place to ourselves, which was nice and quite unusual. I imagine it will, you will never be on your own at this Stonehenge, for example. It was nice, we could have stayed in today because it was raining and, um, and really windy. But um, it was nice that we still made the effort to come out and actually like we had the best time. Yeah, mm. great. 100% agree. Adventure, whatever <laughs> the weather, adventure comes first. Tune in next week to see how Miles saves two boats from floating away and the full bathroom transformation. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already to follow the adventure with us. Extra special thanks to our Patreon family for supporting these videos. A massive thanks to these guys who go above and beyond to make sure these films are produced every week. If you would like to get these episodes early and see bonus content, join us on Patreon. We've been having a lot of fun talking to everyone there. See you in the next one.